Today's case study is an interesting one because it starts off with a client who quit. And you heard that right. She came in for a few visits. She quit because she couldn't believe that she needed to be eating the amount of calories that we were recommending. And so she stopped coming. Now she did start coming back, which is part of this story, but she quit for a reason that many people fall into, is they think, how could I be needing to eat that many calories? They're so ingrained in diet culture that 1200 is appropriate for a woman, and all of these things about just eat less, but she was having a really hard time believing that you have to trust the process. So let's dive right in and look at her test results. So this is someone who came in for weight loss and she was really frustrated. She had been a chronic fat dieter for through most of her life and she was finding that she just wasn't lo losing weight no matter what she was trying to do. So this is her metabolic test results from her initial visit. And as you can see, her metabolism is great. It's above where we would predict it to be at 1893. But what you can also see is that her body is breaking down a little bit too much of that muscle mass, about 4% too high. So remember 1893 is how many calories someone needs completely at rest. So we have to add for the fact that she's getting up and moving around and then also add for exercise. When we do that, the recommended calories that we had her eating was about 2,300 calories a day because since the body's breaking down a little bit too much of that muscle mass, we want to restore some of that lean mass first. Now we explained this to this person, she was totally on board. However, when she came in for a follow-up visit about a month later, she wasn't happy with her body composition results and that's why she left. So here you can see her body composition results. Now I sort of divided it up like this because I just wanna point out that we're talking about muscle mass specifically this time, not all lean mass. All lean mass is everything in the body that's not fat. It includes muscle, but it also includes fluids. It also includes the weight of your skeleton and other things. So I'm only pointing that out because the muscle mass and fat mass number here that you're seeing should not add up to the total weight because it's exactly as listed. It's just muscle mass and just fat mass. And of course, there's other things in the body that would contribute to that total weight. So all of that to say, the January visit was her initial visit. The February was her follow-up. And you can see she actually started building some muscle mass, which is great. And that's because she was taking in more food and fueling her body well for everything that she was doing in the day. She also gained a little bit of fat, which is normal as a part of this beginning part of this process. However, because she saw that scale number go up and because she saw her fat mass go up, she freaked out and that's why she stopped coming. She said, you know what, this is, I was right. You guys are having me eat too much food. I can't do this. I'm going to sort of try my own thing. So she left. So let's flash forward a little over a year. This person comes back in because they had lost some weight and I'll show you that body composition in a minute, but they were frustrated again because their weight had sort of stuck where it was now, right? And so they come back in and they're like, okay, maybe I was doing something or maybe I was under eating. I still want to hear you out. Let's sort of try this again. So we redo their metabolic test and look at the difference. We see that her metabolism came all the way down to 1499. Remember when she started, it was up at 1893, almost 1900. That's a significant drop. Seeing as the weight that she lost wasn't as significant. Again, I'll show you that in just a minute. We also see that her body is breaking down even more of her muscle mass at 7% above normal, whereas the first one it was at 4%. So all in all, this metabolic profile looks worse. Come to find out what this person had been doing is decreasing her calories and only eating about 15 to 1600 calories a day. And yeah, it resulted in some weight loss, but let's look and see how that shook out on the body composition. So this is her body composition result from that follow-up visit after it had been a little bit over a year, okay? So now let's compare to where that was a little over a year ago. And what do we see? Yeah, weight's down, right? It's down from 215 to 205.5, cool. But look at her other things. She lost some fat mass, okay. But look how much muscle mass she lost, right? She lost over four pounds of muscle mass. That's really significant because it's hard to build muscle. And that tells me that the body was under fueled and chipping away at that muscle mass. We don't want to lose about nine pounds of fat, but four pounds of muscle. That's way too much of a ratio. If you were to lose about nine pounds of fat, I would expect muscle mass come down maybe a half of a pound, but not that much. And this was all because again, for that little over a year, she was under fueling her body.
So this case study is a perfect example of why it's so important to trust the process. I know it can be a little bit scary when maybe initially you don't lose weight or you gain a little bit of weight when you're trying to build back eating more from maybe 1200 calories or restore from chronic fat dieting, but you have to trust the process because what we're trying to do is feed you enough to cover your metabolic needs. We're not trying to feed you too much. We're trying to get your body healthy from the inside out and that's worth the wait. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.